Good morning everyone and welcome to Journaling Junkie. I'm here today to show you my latest design team project for my White Cat Journal using the Memories of Love um, kit which is absolutely beautiful. I will leave a link to it uh, below. Um, and first of all, can I just uh, apologise for this monstrosity? Um, I've dam damaged some ligaments again in my hand. Uh, falling over the dog um, so there might be quite a lot of pauses in the, this where I just have to keep giving my hand a rest and it's quite cumbersome so it's difficult to turn the pages so I do apologise in advance okay uh, there are one or two bits of ephemera in here which are my own um, the journal measures seven and a half by five and a half inches and uh, what I've done is I've made it uh, using eyelets um, and I've attached it with ribbon to fasten. However, what I will do is I will also put some of the rings in um, because some people prefer this to the ribbons. All the eyelet holes are protected uh, I've made some, you know, little eyelet protectors so the pages won't get damaged as it's turned. Okay, so we'll get on with this. As I say, please excuse any fumbling that I do. So here we have this beautiful image. Um, I've taken the, uh, the photograph, printed it onto, um, it's like a... A ribbed page it's really pretty paper and then I've covered it in vellum so it gives it this lovely texture on there um, beautiful lace going round and then these little pieces here I don't know if they're glittering like they should do but it's just a really pretty simple cover okay Beautiful pages from the kit. Um, I've used the um, Memories of Love um, premium kit and there is so much stuff in it that I've never actually been able to use everything that's in it. And I do, I must say myself, I do put quite a lot of stuff in. So, um, but I've never, never yet used every single piece of ephemera that she puts into the, the kits that she does. Iris is amazing and very good value. Okay, so as you can see, I've created these little eyelet uh, reinforcers there. Okay, this is an image of my own, but I thought it went really well with the theme and the colours. Uh, some vintage lace, little fussy cuts here. And then this beautiful tag which is uh, from the the kit. Lovely papers that I've used, a little bit of vintage book page. There is lots of writing space in this um, that we will come to. So lots, of, this is the uh, fussy cuts from the kit that I've used. These are part of my own uh, ephemera collection. And uh, again, using more foot fussy cuts here on the pocket. Here, I've actually taken two pages and made one into this pocket here. And then here, I've got an envelope. And this is filled with little bits that are left over from the kit. Uh, so I'm including those in there. Um, also, I will be adding some uh, book pages um, so that if you wanted, you could make your own uh, more pages or use it as for ephemera or whatever. And I know I'm not making a lot of sense here, so I'll just waffle on. Sorry, it's so cumbersome using this silly thing on my hand. So lo lovely papers. 
absolutely beautiful stenciling every page has got um stitching around uh, vintage uh, crochet pocket there sorry i'm just gonna have to pause a second okay i'm back So here with this beautiful page and I loved this little uh, sentiment here. So what I did was I cut out the little square here and then made it into a little tag. So that just pops into there if I can get it back in. I might not be able to get everything back in simply because of this stupid hand. But beautiful highly decorated pages so much that you can do with uh, here I've um, fussy cut this image out from the kit I can't remember if it's from one of the pages or it's just um, you know in the fussy cut pages uh, I've covered this in vellum attached it on here the backing pages are from the kit It's so pretty. I mean, I don't often do pretty things, as you know, I'm very grungy or gothy, but I wanted to work with something just a little bit lighter, so this is the kit that I went for. Little pocket here that says, If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day, so I'll never live without you. How lovely is that? And then just some little tags in there. And then I've made this uh, card from uh, the Fussy Cuts. Little pocket that comes with the kit as well there. And here, excuse me. Large journaling card and then some little pieces of ephemera is there two yeah two there more of the fussy cuts from the kit and then here again using all the fussy cuts some vintage um fabric there and this flips up and then here with, this is from the kit as well, and a lovely little pocket there. Now, that will flip underneath there. It's just that I can't do it with my hands, so. Okay. I've added these uh, little paper clips as well. You can see them with the little hearts, because I thought that went nicely with it. Another the journaling tag using all the fussy cuts and this is taken from one of the pages just a little bit of decoration there beautiful page don't ever forget me oh I've come right off there I'm sorry I'll just go back to that so you can see it properly So you can see all these fussy cuts this is actually uh, cut out from one of the pages this whole section I just added the butterfly and this uh, little date here and then I have a book um, where is it now I can't see it and it's called love letters and these are just like uh, reproduction letters of things that they've written to the sweethearts so it starts darling I can't actually read it myself but 
thought that was really nice to add in. And if I can get the other ones out safely, I will add a couple more of those. But I'm not, they're quite difficult to get out without tearing them. Another pocket here. Vintage crocheted lace there. I think that might be one of my own images, I can't remember. And then this is taken from one of the pages as well. Just a journaling card. I'm just going to have to pause a second, sorry. Okay, so again, these beautiful pages. I'll never forget our love. Really pretty images. She really goes to town with everything. Little journaling tag there. Little tag. Oh, lots, as you can tell, there's lots of writing space. This is one of my own pieces. Large journaling tag with bits of vintage lace and uh, fussy cuts on there. And then again here, this really pretty. And you see the little roses, so nice. Lots of fussy cuts on the page. Again, this is like uh, vellum over the top here. And then a large journaling tag. Again, this is one of my own images. And then I put this over. It looks so pretty with or without the uh, tag in there. Another little corner pocket. And then here, large journaling tag and a little envelope there. There's nothing in there. Beautiful page. Memories of our hearts stay forever. And then here, uh, I've cut the page out twice and then I've added glossy accents onto the butterfly and onto here. It's one of my own uh, pieces of ephemera. Again, we've got the lovely little flowers there. And this is, I'm not sure if it's picking it up on the camera, but this is glittery. It goes from sort of whites and pinks to blue. This little fussy cut from the kit. And a journaling tag. This is a little uh, envelope from the kit. And we've got lots of bits of ephemera in there. This this little envelope here is also part of the kit. Little fussy cut here. And then we have some more. I don't know if you can hear that, but my tummy just rumbled then. I do apologise. So we've got uh, this little bird tag here. And this here. Oh, I haven't done any stenciling on there. I will stencil that page. Now then, this one here. This 
this one here is a large pocket. I haven't stuck it down or anything because I thought you could either put holes in if you wanted, uh, you know, and thread it through there. You could stick it down or add tape or anything there to make it out into a flip out. Some lace along here, vintage book page, a little bit of the ephemera. And again, this is uh, cut down from one of the pages. And that just pops into there. Look, how did I miss that? And then we've come to the back and again I've decorated it with these beautiful pages that Iris has created. So that's the end of uh, the journal. As I say, I will add some book pages in there and I will also be adding those. It will be for sale in my Etsy store as soon as we've got it uploaded to um, YouTube. And uh, I hope to see you all very soon. Take care. Bye for now.